Ghislaine Maxwell is in prison, and a lot of people want to know if she's going to turn in powerful people. And I know you've talked in the past about Prince Andrew, and uh, you've criticized Bill Clinton's behavior. I'm wondering, uh, do you feel that she's going to turn in powerful men? How do you see that working out? I don't know. I haven't really been following it too much. I just wish her well, frankly. Uh, I've met her numerous times over the years, especially since I lived in Palm Beach, and I guess they lived in Palm Beach. Uh, but I wish her well, whatever it is. Uh, I don't know the situation with Prince Andrew. Just don't know. I'm not aware of it. frankly, uh, but I wish her well, whatever it is. Uh, just wish her well, frankly. Uh Ghislaine Maxwell is the Jewish socialite daughter of the infamous Israeli Mossad spy Robert Maxwell. During World War II, Robert was recruited into the MI6, Britain's intelligence service. But he was also a double agent working for Israel's intelligence service, also the Mossad. Robert built a media empire, and through it, he made connections with the world's most powerful leaders and celebrities. And his work included gathering compromising material, including sexual compromise, for the Israeli Mossad to use to control their targets. Among the men that Robert brought into his circle was a New York real estate tycoon named Donald Trump who you can see here aboard Maxwell's luxury yacht, the Lady Ghislaine. Now, some years later, after finding himself in financial difficulties, Robert made the mistake of threatening to go public with some of what he knew about the intelligence operations unless Israel bailed him out. Instead, Israel dispatched a team of Mossad assassins who boarded Maxwell's yacht, injected him with poison, and tossed him overboard out into the sea to make it appear that he had fallen over and drowned. At some point, Ghislaine Maxwell was recruited into the intelligence service with the mission of ensnaring powerful figures by arranging for them to have sex with young women and girls. Ghislaine formed both a sexual bond and an intelligence operation partnership with fellow Mossad asset Jeffrey Epstein, and together they ensnared many high-profile targets by forming relationships with them, gaining their trust, and then offering them the services of young women. Trump spent years partying with Epstein, who almost always had teenage trafficking victims following behind him. In 2002, as was reported in New York Magazine, Trump was more than aware of Epstein's sexual interest in teenage girls. The article reads, quote, I've known Jeff for 15 years. He's a terrific guy. He's a lot of fun to be with. It's even said that he likes beautiful women as much as I do, and many of them are on the younger side. Ghislaine and Epstein both not only raped children themselves, but they arranged for powerful people like Prince Andrew and Donald Trump to have sex with underage minors. According to the allegations filed against Donald Trump by Katie Johnson, when she was 13 years old, she was recruited to service Epstein's rich guests at his New York mansion. 
Johnson, along with a young woman who recruited her to be trafficked, they both signed affidavits attesting that 13-year-old Johnson sexually serviced Donald Trump on multiple occasions at Epstein's parties, and that Epstein himself also raped her several times. Between 2016 to 2017, citizen investigators began looking into pedophile rings that were catering to elites, including high-level politicians in Washington, D.C. My own investigation produced a wealth of evidence pointing to the existence of various operations, including the trafficking of children out of Haiti. As I began to name names, I was hit quickly with a lawsuit for $5 million. The attorney was Stephen S. Biss, the twice disbarred attorney who represents corrupt Zionist tools like Congressman Devin Nunes. I was also contacted by, by a CIA agent who told me that if I backed off, no, not only would I be forgiven and the lawsuit would go away, but Biss himself would agree to serve as my own personal attorney free of charge. When I said that, nope, <laughs> that's not how it works with me. I'm going to fight this. I'm going to defend myself pro se. And that I intended to subpoena and depose several of the high profile DC insiders that I was investigating. The lawsuit miraculously disappeared. But threatening lawsuits was not the only way that the Zionist assets worked to draw attention away from their secret operations. Capitalizing on the so-called Pizzagate conspiracy theory, they crafted a well-orchestrated PSYOP to defeat the conspiracy theorists, and they did it by creating a conspiracy theory of their own that was designed not to convince the conspiracy theorists that they were wrong, but to instead take advantage of their mindset and control the direction of their research and send them down incorrect paths. In other words, the goal was to turn the conspiracy theory community into controlled opposition without them even realizing it. And so the QAnon conspiracy theory was brought into existence by the Israeli Mossad. The basic belief of the QAnon community is preposterous. Here it is. Hillary Clinton is running a massive pedophile cannibalism ring. So to defeat her, and to save all of the children, Donald Trump was recruited by the U.S. military. And over time, he has formed a secret alliance with Robert Mueller, the guy who investigated him during the impeachment. And he also formed an alliance with John F. Kennedy Jr., who we all know died in a plane crash back in 1999. And so since 2016, with Trump in charge, Mueller and JFK Jr. and his uh, this throng of people around Trump have been working to gather evidence against thousands of Hillary Clinton's pedophile associates. And any day now, Trump is going to have them all captured in a mass arrest, deport them down to Guantanamo Bay, Cuba, and order them all to be executed. The QAnon theory takes evil men, men who have histories of major sexual deviancy, men such as Trump's longtime confidant and friend, Roger Stone, takes these people, these perverts, and rebrands them as if they are holy disciples of Jesus Christ. QAnon is a Mossad psyop. It has managed to take that group of people that was originally investigating a real phenomenon of child trafficking and has turned them into a mindless cult that willfully ignores major evidence that is right in front of their eyes, such as Donald Trump's decades-long history, not only with Jeff Epstein, who he used to party with in multiple states, including holding private parties for the two men with dozens of young women down at, at his uh, Mar-a-Lago place, but evidence such as Donald Trump's longtime friendship with the Maxwells. Other evidence includes the fact that the Trump administration is absolutely brimming with Zionists who are intelligence assets of the Israeli Mossad. For example, Donald Barr is the man who recruited a young, inexperienced Jeff Epstein to be a teacher at the elite Dalton School for Rich Kids. Epstein hadn't even completed his college degree when Barr recruited him. There was no justification to bring Epstein in. 
But at the time of his re- recruitment, Donald Barr's son, William, just happened to be an active agent in the CIA. You've probably heard this name, William Barr, because today, William Barr is Donald Trump's attorney general. Go back to the 80s. Donald Trump was saved from bankruptcy in the late 80s when a Rothschild bank agent named Wilbur Ross swooped in and helped Trump to find international credit, international financing, because no one in the United States would give him credit because he was a colossal failure. Ross not only worked for the Rothschild Bank, but he was also connected to Jeff Epstein. Where is Wilbur Ross today? Well, he is Donald Trump's Secretary of the Commerce. That's right, Trump has put a Rothschild agent in charge of the Commerce Department to write uh, the new NAFTA legislation and things like that. All right, just over a decade ago, Jeff Epstein managed to escape justice when lawsuits from by his victims were brought against him. That's because his two powerful attorneys worked out a sweetheart deal with the government. His attorneys were former Clinton impeachment special counsel, Kenneth Starr, and Harvard attorney, Alan Dershowitz. Starr and Dershowitz contacted the government's attorney, who was supposed to be prosecuting Epstein and putting him in jail for as long as possible. And they worked out all kinds of special privileges for Epstein. The prosecutor's name was Alex Acosta. Who is he? Well, Donald Trump raised him up and made him his secretary of labor. Beyond that, during Trump's own impeachment trial, who did he hire to be his personal attorneys to defend him against impeachment? just so happened to be Epstein's attorneys, Kenneth Starr and Alan Dershowitz, who had worked out that sweetheart deal with Alex Acosta. So as I said, Donald Trump has filled his administration with associates of Jeff Epstein. All of these people have intelligence connections. Now that much alone should be enough to at least suggest to the minds of these QAnon conspiracy theorists that the man they believe to be their champion who is fighting against pedophiles is in reality one of the pedophile's biggest allies, supporters, and defenders. But they don't think of that. Why? Why is it that Donald Trump is so devoted to the corrupt men surrounding Epstein and Ghislaine Maxwell, these perverts like Roger Stone that he recently uh, uh, commuted the sentence for. Think about it. Why is this? But there's more. Ghislaine Maxwell started her own elite society some years back. It was called the Kit Kat Club. It was at Ghislaine Maxwell's Kit Kat Club event that Jeff Epstein introduced Melania Naus to Donald Trump the woman who went on to become his third wife. Let me read to you from the New York Times. Quote, Mr. Epstein claims to people that he was the one who introduced Mr. Trump to his third wife, Melania Trump. Mrs. Trump has said that her future husband asked for her phone number at a party at the Kit Kat Club. Now, despite knowing that Ghislaine Maxwell has been arrested in connection with her long-term sexual abuse of children, including her personal rape and abuse of some of them and her trafficking of them to powerful men, possibly including Donald Trump. Despite knowing all this, today, Donald Trump repeatedly wished her well. Folks, the evidence is overwhelming. Donald Trump was not recruited by the military to fight against powerful pedophiles. Donald Trump was recruited and installed as president to protect powerful pedophiles. It is time for Ghislaine Maxwell to turn over to federal authorities all of the Trump child rape tapes that she most assuredly has access to. And it's time for Americans to kick this rapist out of the White House and demand that he be prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law for his crimes. For Blackstone Intelligence, I'm Jake Morfonios.
If you appreciate hard-hitting investigative journalism that you won't get from the mainstream media, then please support Jake's research and analysis at patreon.com forward slash end times news report, paypal.me forward slash end times news report, or send a check or money order to Jake Morphonios, P.O. Box 1333, Kernersville, North Carolina 27285.